Russia's illegal war against churches, pastors, and priests in eastern Ukraine intensifies. Just days ago, the Russian-controlled Crimean Supreme Court handed down a 14-year prison sentence of hard labor to Ukrainian Orthodox priest Konstantin Maximov. Russian occupation forces arrested Maximov a year ago and charged him with espionage, violating Article 276 of the Russian Criminal Code. By demanding allegiance to their code, the Russians are violating international law because Russia cannot enforce its laws in another country, in this case, while occupying Ukraine. According to Forum 18, Maximov was arrested because he resisted the efforts of the Russian Orthodox Church to take over the Ukrainian Orthodox Church of the Berdansk Diocese. Last February, another Ukrainian Orthodox priest, 59-year-old Stepan Poldachuk, was last seen as Russian troops put a bag over his head and dragged him away. Two days later, Poldachuk was found dead with a bullet hole in his head in the streets of a village in the Kherson region. And no word has been heard from outspoken Ukrainian Orthodox priest Timofey Pushkov since his arrest on June 20th. He lives in the Russian-occupied Luhansk region of Ukraine. He often posts videos like this one on YouTube talking about the Christian response to war. The Russians are also persecuting Protestants. Again, according to Forum 18, a Protestant woman in her early 50s named Olina could face a prison sentence of 10 years for remarks she made against the Russian occupation during a prayer meeting in a home in Russian-occupied Melitopol. That is typical behavior for the Russians. Pastor Mark Sergeyev of the Melitopol Christian Church says Russian occupation forces raided his church and home in March 2022. They took me outside, put uh, on the on the ground. My oldest son was at that moment. His name is Christopher. He was nine years old. He was sleeping in a different room, and they wake him up with a gun. Sergeyev says the troops insisted that the church was now part of Russia, and they wanted its members to wave Russian flags, not Ukrainian ones. Igor Bandura of the Ukrainian Baptist Union explains Putin's actions remind him of the old Soviet days when he lived under communism. There is no place for evangelical churches and Nazi churches except uh, Russian Orthodox Church of Moscow Patriarchate. All the rest should just disappear. Folks, the world must hold Vladimir Putin and the Russian government accountable for what is happening to churches and their leaders in occupied Ukraine. They're violating international law and it must stop. In the meantime, please pray for Ukraine and the body of Christ there, Orthodox and Protestants alike. Konstantin Maximov, Timofey Pushkov, and Protestant prayer warrior Olina sure could use some divine intervention right now. May they feel our prayers, and may God encourage them and bring them peace. Well, that's it today from the Global Lane. Be sure to follow us on the CBN News and NRB channels, YouTube, Spotify, and Rumble. And until next time, be blessed.